A lot of people have asked me what kind of hardware they need to pick out to build a kind of cheap but fairly effective gaming system. I've gotten that question enough times that I've really just figured out a very easy, simple way to make it work. I'm going to give you guys two simple steps to build an affordable, decent gaming system. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You started playing Fortnite, maybe you're jumping into Player Unknown Battlegrounds, like to play some Overwatch. Um, hey, Apex Legends looks like an awesome game. I'm gonna try playing that. You don't have your own computer, and your mom and dad never really use a laptop anyway, so you grab their laptop, you install the game, and you play it. All at once you realize this game's running really slow, you've axed all the quality settings on your game, it's still barely playable, and it finally dawns on you, I need a new computer. You go online, you do some shopping, you see the prices, and you go, <laughs> what? How am I going to do this? Then it dawns on you, maybe if I build my own PC, I could afford to do this. So then you do research and you find out that, yes, building your own PC can save you money, but also, where do you go? Guys, we are in 2019, and I gotta say, there is not a better time to build a super affordable gaming system. So there's just really two important things that you've got to look for, and after that, it just doesn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal. So, first step. Really, really simple. Put about $100 to $150 to a CPU. That's it. That's all you need to do for a processor. In fact, what you should probably get is either one of the Ryzen 3 processors or one of the Ryzen 5 processors. That's it. There's a bunch of different options. Um, you'd say, well, should I get the 1200 or 2200G? Yes. Should I get the Ryzen 5 1600 or the Ryzen 5 1300X? Yes. Really, guys, just look at the cores, look at the processing speed, and just kind of go from there. If you feel like you're doing some extra like workloads on the side, say you're doing a little bit of video editing and or a little bit of streaming, then go for more cores within that $100 to $150 range. If all you are doing is playing the online games, then try to find the one that gives you a little more processing power. Because a lot of those online games, short of probably Apex Legends, which might use a little more multi-threading, but things like League of Legends and Fortnite, they're going to be heavily bound to one core. So getting the higher processing speed will help out those games. And the differences on the processing level for those games is so infinitesimal that it's just not going to make a huge difference. So $100 to $150.00. Pretty much Ryzen is your bet. Intel does have their i3-8100, which would be all right for gaming. Really good on the single core performance. But there's not as many options. There you go, guys. Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5. Now, step two, get a good graphics card. You don't need to spend any more than that on the processor for the kind of graphics card. So once again, $150 to $200 find a decent card. The very minimum card that you should get is an RX 570. They are pretty affordable and there's a lot of them down by that $150 range. Also, guys, you might be hearing my baby. She is going nuts. I will try to talk over her. But all the way up to around 200, you can get an RX 580 or even a GTX 1060. Once you get past that $200 range, you're going to start really having trouble. You can find some RX 590s, and you can even get up into the G GTX 1660 Ti's that just came out. But those are going to be like right at $300. If you have the $300 to spend, maybe it'd be worth it. But even then, you, that's when you might start wanting to look at that better processor. So RX 570, either get an 8 gig version of that or get the RX 580. If you know your games are really leaning towards NVIDIA, though, it might be worth the money to just opt for one of those sub-$200 GTX 1060s. That's it, guys. That's all you need to know. In, this, in 2019, I mean, there's some new releases that might be coming out and change things towards the end of the year. But really, for the next six, maybe the entire year, that's all you need to know. You get that processor. You get that graphics card. Now, 
I know you guys are going to be all like, I well, how do I know what else to get? Really, just find the cheapest stuff that is compatible and has some decent reviews. Look at Amazon reviews. Look at Newegg's, you know, egg reviews, and just get something de decent. Okay, I get it. You're still wondering. Well, what should I get? I went through and found a couple of good options. So for one, look for a B450 chipset motherboard from AMD. They're affordable, and you can get one that's in the 70 80 $90-ish dollar range. Look for something that's got at least four eggs or so on Newegg if you're buying there. Um, probably use those reviews. They're pretty, pretty reputable. But I noticed that MSI and ASRock, they have some great budget-friendly boards in that price range. Look for the ones that has heat sinks on the VRM. You're good to go. RAM. Don't go any higher than 3,000 megahertz. Guys, more RAM speed is going to do nothing for gaming. Like nothing. You might get an extra frame per second. Literally. These are things I've tested before. So pricing-wise, that's all you're going to look at. Get 16 gigs of RAM, 2 times 8 gigs, because you do still want to take advantage of dual channel. And then, yeah, 2,400 to roughly 3,000 megahertz. Just whatever. They're, you know, you, you'll spend about... 70, 80, 85 bucks if you're on the like lower end of that speed, and you'll spend closer to like 90 if you get 3,000 megahertz. Just find yourself a good kit. Make sure it has heat sinks though, because those are good for keeping those temperatures a little bit lower. Get a solid state drive, it's worth it. Everything speeds up. Get yourself a good 500 gig. Those things are around 60, 70, 80 ish bucks, depending on how much they are. Big, huge fan of the Crucial MX. 500 big time big time good drive and it's usually about five to ten dollars cheaper than the samsung it's like 860 870 evos now the samsung's are great drives too though and if you really like samsung's quality then go for it if you want to take a little bit of a risky move maybe try silicon power i've actually gotten to try several of those drives out they're very very affordable they're usually five ten dollars cheaper than even crucial and dang i mean they've been working good for me but they're a little bit lesser known brand, but save you a little extra money. Get yourself a good gold rated power supply. Don't, don't skimp on the gold rating because there's enough affordable ones out there. And just check reviews. Rosewill and EVGA are personal favorites that I like. I think for budget systems, they are excellent. Um, I would probably be a little bit more concerned about like maybe EVGA or C-Sonic if I was going to be going high-end graphics cards, high-end processors, stuff like that. So yeah, I think that about covers it, right? We've got, we've got the RAM, we've got the storage, we have the power supply. Get whatever case you want, guys, because really a case is a case is a case. You know, look at reviews, but case is mostly going to be your style. With the amount of heat that comes off of a 570 and a Ryzen 3, case and airflow isn't going to be a big deal. Just get something that you like. I think that covers it, guys. I can't think of any other advice to give you. Of course, go ahead and let's throw in some comments in the questions below. I'll try to get to ones that I can, but I'm hoping that some of you guys in the community, if you've got some words of advice, you can help each other out. I hope that makes building a really easy gaming system very simple for you. One more thing before I forget. Operating system. eBay. Get on eBay, buy yourself a Windows 10 Pro license. You can get them for sometimes less than 20 bucks on eBay. Now, I don't know exactly how legit they are because they are supposed to be resold legit. I've never had a problem. I've gotten a couple myself. That said, you might be running a risk of Microsoft flagging your system saying, nope, this is a bad product ID. You can't use it. But when you're trying to get a, a cheap, cheap budget system going, Windows can eat so much of that budget. Get your key on eBay. It'll save you a ton of money. That's it, guys. There's your guide for 2019. Build yourself an awesome gaming system. Make sure you get yourself a 1080p 60 hertz monitor for the bare bones. That's a pretty good place to start. And you will be enjoying some great online gaming experiences. Hardware Hound with you. I'll catch you later.